What's up YouTube, it's Anthony from CompSci Studio and welcome back to your 30th Java programming tutorial. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys about the math class. Now the math class is a class already built into Java and it's used to carry out various math functions. Uh, this is what I love about Java so much is that it's got such a huge set of libraries um, that basically you don't have to really make your own code for a lot of things. Java has already done all that for you and that's the glory of an object oriented programming la language. Um, so I'll teach you guys how to use this, it's really easy. Um, we've already used one actually, we use the math.random like this, math.random, we use that function. So if you guys just go like this, um, let's make a variable, actually we're going to make a double today. And let's make it uh, ham sandwich and let's set ham sandwich equal to let's see what's a good number 89.89 sounds like a good number now what we're gonna be doing with this um, number is we're gonna want to round it up to 90 because let's say our program we needed to round it up to 90 whatever uh, let's print out let's just make a simple print statement s out um, what we're going to do is we're going to use the math class to do this. So in order to use the math class, all we need to do is type in M-A-T-H and then put our dot separator. And you'll see all these different functions uh, show up here. So there's stuff for taking the absolute value of a number, um, seal, which is what we're going to be actually using. Seal just rounds it up. Well, yeah, it just rounds no matter what your number is. Well, no matter what your decimal is, it's going to round it up to the nearest whole number and there's another one called floor so it takes your decimal number and rounds it down to the nearest whole number and there's a bunch like log it takes a log of that number um, a whole bunch of stuff like power so you could take the power so you would type in your base and then you type in your exponent um, yeah a whole bunch of stuff so let's just use the seal one so type in C E I L and then put down brackets oh and look at that it already puts in ham sandwich for us and let's just run this show you guys I'm not lying and there you go we get 90.0 uh, so basically all it does it took our number and it rounds it up to the nearest whole number and so if we wanted to do uh, round it down let's say all we'd have to do is math.floor or floor man I don't know how to spell floor there we go math.floor now let's just run it and there you go it rounds it down to 89.0 uh, what else should we use? I'll just show you guys a few different little functions in here. Math dot... Okay, here we go. Let's make a negative number. And I'll show you guys about the absolute value function. If you guys don't know what an absolute value function is, um, yeah, they teach you in high school. So if you guys aren't in high school yet, uh, you guys probably don't know what it is. So math dot abs. Now all the absolute value does, it's a really easy concept. All it does is it takes your number, and then if it's negative, it makes it positive. And if it's positive, it keeps it as a positive value. So whatever your number is that you're putting into these uh, to these parentheses right here, it's going to spit out the positive value of it. So let's run it. And there you go. We get 89.89 instead of negative 89.89. Um, what else should we do? Yeah, let's use the power function. So let's go math.pow. And as you guys can see, if you just hover over, if you like go up and down with your arrow keys, you get a full explanation um, about what this function does. So if you guys aren't sure about what it does, just take a just look at it and read it. It's a uh, that's what I love about NetBeans. It tells you pretty much everything about every single type of function in the Java library. So all this one does is it takes two parameters, as you can see, one double here and then the second double, and the first double I believe is your base. I think it's the base and then the next one is your exponent so let's just hit enter there and let's put like hmm, 10 to the 2 and all that's going to do is it's going to go 10 times 10 basically and it gives us 100.0 and yeah that's about it for this tutorial um yeah you guys should just mess mess around with uh this math class there's a lot of handy functions in there that you'll find and yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.